And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Soul Tie Flash. We're bringing this deck back. It's been a few weeks since we've played it, and uh, by popular demand, uh, let's go ahead and counter some spells, play a whole bunch of instants. That's what we're going to be doing here. I'm still in the camp that I like Soul Tie Flash more than Simic Flash. I don't think that Simic has good enough removal because. Um, just you're not going to be able to counter everything and so i like how i like the removal that soul tie flash has i do like dire fleet poisoner still as well um i think this is a a nice card to have i like this more than trickster <laughs> thanks heresy um hey hawkeye but <clears throat> so that's what we're going to be doing here we're going to be playing uh good old flash deck counter stuff get ambusher frilled mystic cutthroat going y'all know y'all know this kind of deck by now um, I am overloading on crafty cut purses in the sideboard because there's so many field of the decks running, field of the dead decks running around right now. So we'll see how that goes. If that's going to be too many of this card, or or not, you know. So I wanted to load up on that card also and give it a try. All right, we're going to be playing over in ranked <clears throat> today with the deck. Let's see how it does. Um, yeah, fair amount. Uh, the videos are made beforehand. All right, good looking hands. Do I want to play opt on turn one? is the question. I don't think so. My hand looks pretty good. I don't think there's any like one particular card I need to, to look for or anything. I like I like saving opt. <clears throat> Cause yeah like Woodland Cemetery would have been like yeah that's that's good. I like saving opt a little bit so like you when you're like okay I'm I've run out of cards, I need cards or I don't have enough lands, I need lands. You know like that kind of stuff. Get him, Poisoner. All right, good Poisoner there. I think I will be casting Opt on this turn. Um... Just a bunch of lands anyway, I suppose. Bad Cavalier Thorns. Get out of here. We could have like opt and then find a four drop. Like a wolf. Wolfie? Not a wolf. Well, good news is both of our ops have been quality cards getting rid of lands. Bad news is we're drawing 
kind of too many other lands. Dang. Where's our wolf? I kind of want to dispersal that instead of negate. No, we'll negate. Just because... You know, dispersal does does run out at some point. Speed light's just so good. There's not a real big difference in keeping them off of five or six mana. I'd rather have the cast down available for something else. We found the wolfies. Cat's name is Hawkeye. Yeah, I just said your name. What? He's the best. I know I could like cast down on my turn like after double blocks and stuff, but then you know playing stuff on my turn means I don't get back the wolves from ambusher. All right, so they have some really big, uh, hard hitting cards. Let's get these disdainful strokes in here. Uh, Veil of Summers. I mean, Noxious Grasp. I guess it's just an upgrade over other removal spells. All right, so if we try out all these things, 68, that's too much, obviously. Um, we're going to take out the cast downs for the Noxious Grasps there. Do I really want four negates? Maybe not. They have a lot of good cards in the gate, though. Hmm. Kind of like all these cards. I guess we're going to have to trim two sailors.
I guess an opt and another negate again. If I'm trimming Sailor, Dispersal is not going to be as good. Uh, that previous song was Treehouse by Goldfields. Blue Black Flash. You're welcome. We got Pirate Flash. Get him, Sailor. Protection from blue can't be countered. Do we think they have Veil of Summer? See, the, th the problem with cast outing now is I don't get a counter on the cutthroat. That's fine. They're probably like, oh, Shifting Ceratops, that's so good against the Flash deck. When you play this card. Yeah, whatever. It's dead. Yeah, we know we know Simic Flash. We got, like, actual removal. Too many cards over there. Hmm. Don't actually get to play anything here for growing the cutthroat out of Paradise Druid range this turn. Do I even have any basics? I'm an island. Veil of Summer? Darn. Well, this went downhill for us. Turns out not being able to play your Frilled Mystics because you don't have green mana is pretty rough. Turns out. No idea why that other Paradise Druid isn't attacking here. Oh, because it's activating Field of Ruin. 
Why aren't you doing that before your explore triggers? What's going on here? Okay. So... That was a little rough. Like our chances for game three, though. <laughs> yeah, they may go land destruction now. We'll see. Hopefully we get our green mana this time. It's kind of the hard part with green here. It's like, we don't really have green spells except for the four drops, but both four drops are double green. And so that's quite annoying that they're double green. But really we're just like blue-black besides that. Yeah, Veil of Summer is the only other green card in our deck. Yeah, the problem with shaving those, maybe we should. The problem is they're just our best cards in our deck. Yay. Just drawing a lot of blue, uh, green mana makes our life easier. No, this isn't really a Biogenic Ooze deck. I don't think you'd really want to play that card over Ambusher. So it looks like they have a Veil of Summer in hand. Definitely makes my life harder. Why do I have to have Jade Light? Ooh, no Veil of Summer. Interesting. So playing Ambusher gets, Ambusher gets, um, yeah, like removal spelled, but does grow Cutthroat, <clears throat> still just trades one for one. Growing the cutthroat means we get to start attacking now. We don't actually have any of our black spells, so Ceratops actually would be a problem for us.
Really wish we would have had two basics for this matchup. But we do not. Can't really afford to counter that, and then they play something else. Guess they just get to know my hand is all counters. I can play accordingly. Ugh, these field of ruins. The good news is they only have three cards in hand. I have three counter spells. Problem is I can only play my counter spells one a turn. And they can potentially play their cards a lot more than one a turn. So with a disdainful stroke, that does mean that we'll be able to play two counter spells here, which is nice. Field of Ruin's a good card these days with all the Field of the Dead. All right, Caesar. Have a good night. Surprised they didn't take that card with duress instead of taking Disdainful Stroke. I wonder why they took Disdainful Stroke instead last time. I mean, I hope it's to play something that gets Disdainful Stroked. Now they're just going to get Jade Light back. I don't know why that card's in their deck. Our opponent's mana base. It's really, like, if they win this, it's really going to be from their mana base. Like, the Double Field of Ruin Memorial, their lands have really done a good job. You know, taking me off black mana, destroying two lands, I couldn't have Frilled Mystic also. Yeah, they, like these don't even count as spells, but all three of those cards were awesome.
This may be the first time I'll ever die to a Ceratops in this deck. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not yet. Just gotta draw any of our nine... I have nine removal spells for Ceratops, plus the four wolves that can block it. Just gotta draw some of those. Can't take the cards with us. Gotta play them. Grasp work. Okay. Wasn't for that trample. If it wasn't for trample. With that card. Just take it. Just take the 11. No, don't block. My my hope there was they just, you know, take 11. <laughs> don't block either of those. Just will it, willing to go to 11, and then my poisoner pumps. Hey, Shadow. Good evening. All right, so Field of Ruin really destroyed me. Those games, especially that game too. Couldn't actually play my Frilled Mystics. Our land's blown up. You guys like my new mustache? Yep, can't win them all. All right, painful looking hand here. I'm just act like we're blue black. We'll play the breeding pool next turn.
Come on, green mana. Yuck. Come on. Are you kidding me? Zach, come on. Green, a mana. Ugh. This would be looking so good right now if I just drew the green source and we'd have triple frilled mystic. It would be looking very good for us. But looks like we're dead. Because now they get a field of the dead and now all these lands make two twos. And now this game's over. Very sad. Alright, Disdainful Stroke, all these cut purses. We probably want Negates also. We don't really want Cast Down Scorn. You know, I know they kill like Risen Reef basically and and, Kras well, and Krasis. I guess Krasis is something we gotta kill. We'll just play Noxious Grasps. Like two Noxious Grasps, maybe like no Poisoners. Poisoner does not match up against zombies. Uh, you can send me, yeah, you can send me a message on Discord, Shadow Within. But as far as, like, mailing me stuff, I don't have a, I don't have, like, a, a public mailing address. I need to lead with Hinterland Harbor. See, our, our hand obviously needs to draw the two lands. But... It was a great hand if we drew the two lands. Obviously, we didn't draw the two lands, so... Just a bunch of spells here. Alright, that's a start. It's a good draw, basic also. So other lands can come into play untapped too.
Please no field of the dead. All right, good. Saving the counter spell for Golos. Bleh. <laughs> I know. Yeah, the deck is trolling me pretty hard with the lands. But to be fair, the team are deck too. That's just kind of today for us. That has been today. The old draw five. It's pretty fair. Yeah, I don't I don't know exactly how to make a Kaya Ashiok deck with trying to use Kaya for for lethal with like exiling everything. I don't I don't know how to make that a very successful deck. I'm just so dead. Come on. You've got to stop with these risen reefs. Just every single one of them. Ugh. Yeah, now you get your Golos. So you can cast a million spells in a turn. Yeah, it hasn't been good. What the heck is that doing in their deck?
This is the problem with cut cut purse. Each one of these is just like one card at a one zombie at a time. Just draw a land. I could play opt. That's a good place for us to see Krasis. Wow, really? Those are going to me, aren't they? What are they doing? I don't not know how crafty cup purse works. Like what are they, what are they doing? Don't think that was a good trade for them. So I attack I can do ten. Yeah. We had no business winning this game, and it looks like we're going to be winning this game. And we seriously had no business winning it. I do not want to see a crisis. It's obviously a crisis. Then, of course, find some Golos. But they they have the lands, like, over here and over there now. Why is that a thing? Come on. Uh, I don't have negate available because we haven't drawn any. That was, they had two mana left. That was their last two mana. Was that? Yeah, never punished. Opponent played that turn so horribly, it just doesn't matter. Ugh. Of course, their last card is the third crisis. That draws into Golas plus Legion's End. Bleh. Was 
We could have just had our lands earlier. That other game, but... Anyway, alright, new game. Right, more Field of the Dead. We fought through... Yeah, we fought through that first crisis that drew five. That second crisis. Drawing six, though. Plus having seven mana still afterwards. Tough business. <laughs> Thanks, Tag Force. Thanks for that support. Yeah, I've had a lot of bad breaks tonight. Been one of those days. Opponent doesn't have mana, so if we can find some threats, we could we could do some stuff. But obviously, that means that we're not going to draw any threats. This is the game that we're going to draw all of our lands now. Couldn't have them last game. Yay, a threat. We did it. We drew a threat. GG's. It's just three mana creature after three mana creature. Like aren't even good that good to use removal spells on. Dying so slowly. Yep, we found all the land that we were looking for last game. We got them all.
I don't think we beat a Field of the Dead deck today. I think we were like 0 and 6 against them or so. We have lost to a lot of Field of the Dead today. It's been most of our losses. Just. Both of our losses with Kalia. Field of the Dead. Looks like we have some more. Looks like two losses in a row here are going to be Field of the Dead. Really hard to like one, you know, try to trade one for one whenever every land drop are just like more creatures. Can't count our land drops. Thanks so much, Uday. Thanks so much there, Tyler. Hope everything's going good. Guess I need to start playing some more Grixis. Get that Blood Sun and Unward Ego in the sideboards. I really like having both of those cards. It's not just like one card. Because just having one card isn't working out too well for us here. Recently. No, I think Disdainful Stroke's more important than Negate. Countering uh, like your rock, Cavalier of Thorns. All that kind of stuff. We have a lot of creatures. <laughs> Play limited. Get away from Field of the Dead. <laughs> Yeah, they, they can get the mana to uh, outclass Lookout's Dispersal. But... And Clear Eyes staying on that streak as well. Thanks, Clear Eyes. I played two. I played two Bloodstone decks today here: the Kalia and the Teamer. Kalia had three Bloodstones. Teamer had four Bloodstones. We drew zero Bloodstones today.
kind of rough playing any deck that's not a Blood Sun deck, though, and trying to fight fair with these decks. <clears throat> this card is kind of my downfall. I just build. I really like building fair decks. It's really hard to to fight fair against Field of the Dead. Quite difficult. All right, have a good night, Huday. We'll keep working on it, though. This wasn't our day today. And that's okay. Our current deck cannot support Field of Ruin. But with that being said, Field of Ruin is just not a not a good enough answer, but it it I guess it would help. I can start playing more Field of Ruins in general. Yeah, so we can't counter land drops, so they get a they get a couple two twos every turn by just playing a land. Hmm. We are getting our three three wolf each turn. Doing okay, they just have one card left. They do have the Memorial that can draw a couple more cards. They have the Arch of Orozco that can draw a card. Though as well. We 
There we go. That's a good one. A couple good ones. Right, I think we're getting this game. Um, I don't know if it would be better if Field of the Dead was a legendary land. Um, I don't know. A little, I don't know, it's a little subjective. Hard to say, I guess. Oh, I should play Cutthroat first. Dang it, I meant to do that. Well, no, maybe I should just keep drawing cards. Actually, yeah, I should probably just draw another card. So actually, it's all good. Why do people keep playing lands after you play Cut first? Figured it out. That's why. I thought maybe they wanted the black the black mana for a removal spell. Poor pirates. So block there for those trades with that, those, that, that, so we get three in. Don't have a good attack even. It's not the worst attack though, and it's, all it is is getting worse though. So we'll give it a try. Three damage in. The cupper doesn't do anything right now. It, that's just until end of turn. Cupper doesn't do anything anymore. It's just a two-two. Well, I guess I, should, I need to play these cutthroats first, don't I? 
yuck. Well, that's game. Unless we find another one. That was pretty loose of me, though. I need to play just play cutthroat, cutthroat first. Okay, maybe they don't have any lands. No land. They're drawing a card there. If they don't have lands, it'd be good. Darn, they had a land. Could have had an extra counter on both of these. It's definitely important against the two twos there. Ugh. Yeah, that extra counter that was that was really important. Not having that counter. Nope, land draw didn't help. But just not my day today. If we would have drawn cup purse there that last turn, that would have been amazing. Oh well, well, Sultai Flash didn't look so good. You know, lost to you know some Field of the Dead decks, and the problem with those Field of the Dead decks that are not the Scape Shift ones, which you know the the two that we lost to were not Scape Shift ones, and cup purse just wasn't really good enough. Like we would we would cup purse away like three or four tokens. Or whatever you you know we'd get we'd get some tokens, but it's not like it's it's not like against Scape Shift that just like plays a big Scape Shift and you get like twenty. Uh, all right, Suvi Sack, thank you so much. Um, I'll do Mono Black Control probably in two days or because uh, I have a Mono Black mid range donation for tomorrow and so um, you know we'll, so I'll split it up it maybe either on. So that'll be tomorrow. So either Thursday or Friday, we'll get Mono Black Control going back again. Um, so yeah, it's it's just tough to tough to handle like the the really slow burn of Field of the Dead, the ones that are just the decks they're trying to just grind you out with Field of the Dead whenever with like Crafty Cup Purse, just doesn't. It's only until end of turn, so it's not great. I'm. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if the next set with Throne of Eldrain that they're going to print something that's like. I honestly think they're going to. There's going to be some card printed that's going to be just really good against Field of the Dead. That's what I'm kind of expecting. Uh, like how we had uh, after um, Ravnica Allegiance, there was um, Wilderness Reclamation, and it dominated for most of that whole format. And uh, it was just really hard to interact with, and it dominated. But then the very next set. They saw that they they didn't want it to just dominate throughout all the standards. So then they printed three mana to fairy that just shut it down. I kind of expect something similar like that to happen with Field of the Dead. How they've just seen how Field of the Dead's just everywhere, and um, and like some of the 
better cards against Field Dead, like especially like Blood Center leaving the format anyway. So I I expect there to be something in Throne of Eldraine that's going to make it so it's not just Field of the Dead all the time. Uh, Cup Purse is rotating out also. So yeah, Cup Purse is rotating out. Um, Blood Sun's rotating out. Those cards, like Blood Sun's very good, but Cup Purse is really, isn't is only kind of good against Scape Shift that's rotating out also. Um, yeah, so... Anyway, there's Sultai Flash. I guess I went off on a little tangent there. Um, Protect didn't feel too powerful against these uh, Sultai Field of the Dead decks that just grind you out. Our one for one counter magic removal game uh, couldn't really hold up. Anyway, uh, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to the like and subscribe buttons over there, though. I would still really appreciate that. But thanks for watching Soul Tie Flash, and I'll see you for the next video.